Hello everyone, I'm Bri and I'm a just graduated student from Singapore Management University. So today I'm very glad to share our paper module rise network for fuchsia heformin detection. And by the way, we will also present our paper in the poster session on Wednesday. If you're interested in the details of our paper, please feel free to join us on Wednesday's the, open, the poster session. Uh, to begin with, I'd like to give a warning since the slides contain violence and discriminatory content that may be disturbing to some readers. Okay, so nowadays we are largely facilitated by the online social media, and the prevalence of the online social media has facilitated people in uh, information exchange, uh, communication among individuals, etc. But there is also the proliferation of the hate speech, which may hurt people, result in discord among communities, and may potentially result in the hate crimes. So it is very urgent to curb the hate speech. And the multimodal hate speech is one kind of hate speech that involves more than one modalities. And hate for memes is one kind of the multimodal hate speech. So the memes are the images with the overlying text. And its multimodal nature makes it very challenging for detection because it involves not only the comprehension of individual modality, but also the uh, vision language comprehension and may potentially require the cultural background knowledge. On the other hand, the memes may tie to uh, may be tied to evolving events. So you can see the hateful memes associated with the COVID-19 pandemic, the US presidential election, the war of Ukraine, etc. And this kind of dynamic nature of the memes make it infeasible to annotate sufficient training data for each event. However, all of the existing works about the HIFO meme detection are fully supervised. So that means they require a large volume of the training data for uh, the model training. So based on these observations, we propose to study the HIFO meme detection in a low resource setting, where only a few annotated uh, instances are available. And we are largely inspired by the sport of tri triathlon. So uh, normally to compete in this sport, the athletes will be trained for separate tasks. So in other words, they will be trained to swim, be trained to do cycling, be trained to do the running. And then they will compose these uh, skills to compete in the triathlon sport. So let's imagine if we grasp the essential reasoning skills for HIFO meme detection in advance, the very complex HIFO meme detection task will be converted to a relatively easier task, which is to compose these skills for HIFO mean detection. So the ultimate goal will be converted to a simpler goal, which is to learn a composer for the skills. So the contribution of our paper is that we firstly present to the best of our knowledge a pioneering exploration of the HIFO mean detection in a low resource setting. And uh, it, Confronted with this low resource setting, we propose a modularized network with composition of modules. Each of the modules is capable of an essential reasoning skill for HIFO meme detection. And we vetted our model on three benchmarks for HIFO meme detection, and we achieved quite good performance in the fuchsia setting for HIFO meme detection. And this is the outline of my presentation. And firstly, I will give some details of our proposed model, and I will pre present the experimental results uh, by using our model. And finally, I will give a conclusion. So let's come to the first part, uh, which is to uh, introduce our proposed model. So this is the high-level idea of our proposed model. Uh, generally, it consists of three stages. So firstly, it, it, the first stage is called the essential skill acquisition, which is to learn the essential skills for HIFO meme detection. And after the stage, the second stage is to learn a composer, which is to compose the learned essential skills in the first stage for the HIFO meme detection task. And finally, based on the uh, learned composer in the second stage and the uh, acquired essential skills in the first stage, we construct the modularized network for the, for the HIFO meme detection. And I will present more details for each stage in the following slides. So let's come to the first part, the essential skill acquisition. Uh, specifically, we identify three essential skills in HIFO meme detection. So the first level of the skill is that the model needs to understand what is HIFO and what is non-HIFO. So in other words, the model needs to understand the definition of hate speech. So if given a piece of hate speech, the model needs to output, oh, this is a piece of hateful content. 
And the second level of the skill is that the model can elaborate the meme message by maybe understanding the visual metaverse by doing the multimodal interactions. So if given this kind of uh, multimodal meme, the expected output is that uh, the meme is comparing the hand people to the wind chimes. And the third level of the reasoning scale is that the model can decode the underlying meaning of the hateful memes, maybe by uh, complex reasoning and by the incorporation of the background cultural knowledge. So given this hateful meme, the model needs to uh, elaborate that the meme is making joke of the hand black people. It's making joke of the slaughter of the black people by comparing the hand black people to the wind chimes. Therefore, the memes hit forward towards the black people. So uh, to acquire these essential skills, specifically, we will train three separate modules for three separate skills with the auxiliary data. So firstly, in order to acquire the skill to understand the uh, definition of hate speech, we will train a module with the uh, text-only hate speech data. And secondly, in order to acquire the skill uh, for elaboration of meme message, we will train a module with the meme comprehension data. And thirdly, in order to acquire the skill to decode the underlying meaning of hateful memes, we will train a module uh, with the hateful meme interpretation data. But please note, there is no overlapping between our testing hateful meme detection data and the auxiliary data. Uh, after the first stage, we, in the second stage, we will learn a composer. And the goal here is to compose the learned skills in the first stage uh, for the hateful meme detection. So in other words, the second stage, the goal is to compose the modules, in other words, to, to compose the skills. So the high level idea is that the composer will assign important scores over individual module parameter widths. So the learning process for the composer is conducted with a few short examples. So we will, um, we will assign the important scores over individual module weights. And then we will obtain a composed module, which is uh, this module. And we will then apply the composed module to the few short uh, training examples. The, uh, next, we will optimize the composer in other words, the important scores, so that the composed module can achieve optimal performance on the future training set. So like if this example is from the future training, training set, we, when we apply the module, we will uh, force the composed module to respond yes towards this piece of hate for me. And uh, the the module learning is uh, conducted with the parameter efficient tuning over Lama 7B. Uh, the parameter efficient tuning method we use is called LoRa. And we will regard each tuned LoRa uh, module as the module capable of such essential reasoning skill. And uh, based on the previously learned essential skill or, or essential module in the first phase, and also the composer learned in the second stage, we will construct the modularized network. Uh, specifically, we will apply the composer to the three LoRa module capable of the essential reasoning skill so that we obtain a composed module. And then we incorporate the composed module to the frozen llama, which results in our modularized network. And next, I will introduce some uh, basic exper experimental results. So uh, we conduct experiments on three benchmarks for HIFO meme detection. And we adopt the traditional evaluation metrics, such as the AUC, ROC, and the standard accuracy. And in order to guarantee the robustness in the future setting, we random sample K examples in the K-shot setting. And we conduct the sampling five times so that we have five sets of the future samples. And we replicate the experiments for five times, and we reported the average performance and the standard deviation. So the main experiment is that we compare our model with the standard in-context learning method, because there is no existing method for the future hate for meme detection. And uh, we, we consider both the in-context learning with the language model and the vision language model. So according to the comparison, you can see our model obviously surpassed the existing uh, standard in-context learning methods. And uh, on the other hand, our model is also more computationally efficient during the inference time. Because if you're using the standard in-context learning, you need to do recomputation for the future example every time during inference. 
And secondly, we conduct some ablation studies about the ablations of the modules. So instead of using a combination of all three modules, we try to use the individual modules or the combination of any two modules. So the results turns out the composition of three modules achieves the best performance. But in some cases, we also noticed the HISBH module alone achieved quite good AUCROC performance. So we looked into the details of its prediction. We find out the HISBH module alone achieves quite biased prediction. So it just predicts all the memes as long here for. So in conclusion, by using the composition of the three modules, we have the best performance, we have the most unbiased perf performance, and the most robust performance. And previously, according to this slide, you can see uh, by incorporating the meme comprehension module, the performance can be further improved. But when we further visualize the important scores assigned over individual modules, we find that the meme comprehension module was assigned the lowest important scores. Uh, we also look into the details of the uh, meme comprehension module's prediction. We find out the meme comprehension module is underdeveloped, so it may not give very good meme comprehension uh, results. So maybe by better implementing for the meme comprehension module, the overall framework, our modularized network can be uh, further improved. So in conclusion, we, um, we are the first to study the problem of the HIFO meme in the future setting. And we propose a modularized network we train a set of modules capable of relevant tasks to the HIFO meme detection and learn a composition of these modules within the future examples. And our proposed model outperforms the standard in-context learning models and is also more computationally efficient during the inference time. So that's all. Thanks for listening. Uh, so if you have any question, please feel free to ask.